Okay, bandit level 11 to level 12. We have a level goal. The password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt where all lowercase letters A to Z and uppercase letters A to Z have been rotated by 13 positions. Commands you may need to solve this level, the same as before, and we've got a new article, Rot 13, on Wikipedia. So, again, I would, I would suggest looking at this Rot 13 on Wikipedia and finding out what that means and what it is, um, and what it means to rotate by 13 positions, but I will, I will quickly sort of um, explain that now. So, Rot 13 is like a, it's a, a super old encryption. Um, well, we, you know, it, it was considered encryption when it was probably first um, uh, conjured up when it was first uh, invented, but um, it's definitely not encryption now, or at least would be an example of, of like the weakest encryption you could possibly have. It's a Caesar cipher. So if you don't, if you've you might have heard of a Caesar cipher. It's when you sort of shift the alphabet by so many positions. Um, so A moves to like a Caesar cipher where you've rotated by one would be like A is goes to B, B goes to C, C goes to D, and so on, right? And so to to decrypt the message that you that you um, make after that encryption you just have to do the reverse, right? So you would map D back to C and C back to B and B back to A and so on, right? So with ROT13 it's just a Caesar cipher but where everything's been moved around 13 places or moved along 13 places. Um, the nice thing is about ROT13 is 13 is half of 26. We have 26 letters in the alphabet. So to decrypt um, ROT13, you just have to apply ROT13 to it again and you'll shift everything 13 more places along which actually shifts it back um, as if nothing had changed. So all we need to do is do a ROT13 on whatever this data.txt is. We just need to do a ROT13 shift, Caesar shift, or whatever we want to call it, on this information here, and we should get the the correct uh, plain text. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we've not come across a, a command yet that's going to allow us to do something like that. I don't think we have anyway. So the next thing to try would be to carry on trying some of these new ones. Um, so let's go straight for TR. translate or delete characters. So we've hit the jackpot on the first shot, which is nice. Um, we've got this set one, set two, translate, squeeze, and or delete characters from standard input, writing to standard output. So now that's important. It's that we're not gonna have to, we're not gonna specify our file here. It doesn't ask for a file in the synopsis. It's taking it from standard input. So we need to, we need to think about that when it, when we come to doing the, uh, making the command and sets are represented or specified as strings of characters most represent themselves interpret sequences are so we don't need to worry about this okay um, so what it's going to do it's going to match every we're going to have to give it two sets of to a two um, strings of equal length and it's going to map the first uh, character from the first set to the first character of the second set, the second character of the first set to the second character of the second set and so on and so forth. So we just need to do the alphabet on one set and then the alphabet shifted by 13 places as the second set. So let's give this a go. Um, now what we do need to do, what we do need to be aware of, is the fact that we need to get the data as the standard input for that command. Now, we're going to have to do that by piping. We're going to have to pipe the, 
data into the command so that it reads from the standard input. Now when we use cat it the out the standard output is the actual is what we want, right? So we want to pipe the cat command into our um into our tr command. Now we just need to make the two sets. So we just make the alphabet. This would be embarrassing if I did anything wrong here. And remember, this is just lowercase, right? We need to make sure we've got the uppercase alphabet in here as well. Space, so that's the first set. Now, you think one place would go to B, two places would go to C, three places would go to D. Carry on that, carry on that until you do 13 places. Um, I already know off the top of my head that rot 13 is A tra translates to N. So I'm just going to put that straight in. M -O -P -Q -O -S -T -U -V -W -X -Y -Z. Oh no. And then N again. Oh sorry. My goodness. G H I J K. <laughs> I lost my mind a bit there for a second. N O P Q R S T. Okay, I hope that makes sense. The two sets, we've got the alphabet and the alphabet in capital letters going to everything moved 13 places. Now, one thing I forgot to sort of mention is that it loops, right? So Z, if you shift Z two places, it goes to B. Um, you know, it all, it all comes around in like a clock, like circular sort of fashion. Um, I hope that sort of seems intuitive to you. Uh, and so N through to M and then N through to M for the capital letters. So that's our command. Let's hit enter. And there we go. The password is this. So that's another one down. Okay, great. I hope that made sense and I'll see you in the next one.